Do you want to give your contact form 7 forms more flexibility for your users? At the same time, do you want to be able to collect more important data from your customers and your visitors? Then adding checkboxes to your contact form 7 forms could be the answer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that plus all the features they provide you. Hi, my name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Let's get started. Here are four different setups for the Contact Form 7 checkboxes for the vanilla Contact Form 7 form builder. We're going to go through each one of these. The first one, click on the checkboxes, and they're checked. Click on the names, doesn't check anything. The third one, sorry, the second one, click on the names, and it checks the boxes too. So you can click on the box or the names for the second one. I'll show you what the difference is in the actual form builder. Here we have the labels first, plus you can click on the names. And all of these ones up here, you can check all the boxes. And this last one, you can only check one of the boxes. So let's get into how to do this. I'm going to assume you already have Contact Form 7 installed and kind of know your way around. If that assumption is false, click the card up above or the description down below. There's a link to a Contact Form 7 tutorial, a full walkthrough of Contact Form 7 and all the ins and outs and how to use it. And that'll get you up to speed. Then you can come back to this video to add these checkboxes. These are all the checkboxes in the code. Let's get rid of all those. To add a checkbox, just click on checkboxes. And here we have a bunch of options. Field type, required or not, it's up to you. This will make it so someone has to check at least one of the boxes before the form can be submitted. Give it a name. This is auto filled. You can leave it as it is. For the options, we enter what the options are to be checked. Red, green, blue, all in a different line. You can have as many as you want. The more you have, the less user-friendly your form is going to be. So you don't want to go overboard, but you can also you can have more than three. I'd say less than 10 is probably what you want to want to have. And here we have the options that we were checking earlier on the front end. This is how we set them in the back end. So the wrap each item with label element. This allows you to click on the name, click on red, green, or blue to check the box, not just the checkbox, which you recall we saw earlier. So if you check this, you can click on the name. That's good for user experience, so you probably have that checked all the time. That's why it's on by default. Check this box, and it puts the label first. So it puts the word before the checkbox. Based on how your users operate, this might be what you need or what you don't need. Um, I think it's a matter of preference but uh, it can make sense or not make sense. Depends on your use case. Make the checks boxes exclusive. This is where you can only check one of them. So if you check one, then you check another, the first one will be unchecked and the second one will be checked. It allows you to make only one choice. Insert the tag when you have it set up how you want it and then save the form. I just copied it by clipboard in case something goes wrong with the save. Pretty rare that that happens, but you just never know. And if you're getting value from this video, this is a great time to hit the like button to let me know. And also click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get back to it. After we have it saved, we go to the mail tab. And we have this checkbox short code right here. If this all looks very confusing, and I'm going to blow through this really quick, check out that video that I referenced earlier where it's the full walkthrough of Contact Form 7 because it will explain all this stuff to you. Copy this short code. Paste it into here. Favorite color. And we'll paste that right there. So that's our favorite color checkbox. Copy that, save it. And you'll notice on the form, let's just refresh what we have here. We just have red, green, blue. It doesn't say favorite color. It doesn't even say why we're checking it. So you're gonna to wanna to add a form label as well. To add a label, just copy an existing one on the page. And what you'll wanna do is copy the closing label as well. But we don't put it at the end like the others. We put it up here because the checkboxes have their own labels. And something with the contact form seven setup, you can have labels within labels, so it wouldn't work. So we wanna make sure this is up above and not wrapped around the short code like the other ones are. Let's give this uh, some proper text here. Your favorite color, save that. Come up to the front end and refresh. And there's our favorite color. You can pick which one. They're mutually exclusive, so you can't have more than one favorite color with this setup. And then if people fill out the form, let's do that really quick. Your favorite color. Make sure we got this in the form field. 
favorite color. Okay, that's good. Click on submit. And now check our inbox. And there's our favorite color of blue. And in case you weren't aware, I have a 17 point WordPress pre-launch checklist that goes through all the steps you should take before you launch any new WordPress site. It's been downloaded over 100,000 times over the past few years, and you can get it totally for free. I've got a video walking through what it has, and I'll link to that video in the description down below so you can check out that video. Then you can decide if you wanna join the over 100,000 other WordPress users who have this checklist. Next up, check out this video right here. It's the next part of this Contact Form 7 series, or check out the whole series in this playlist right down here. You can jump to any part you want, so check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.